investigation, not because I, I, Tommy and I were involved, on our own. They had 200 detectives, and we broke this case. We got one in Chicago, one in New York. And I get the chills thinking about how we did this. And uh, it was one of the things that if you want to really listen, and I talk about a sixth sense, a feeling, like when I look in your eyes, when I talk to people, you can't go to college. You can't get a doctorate or an MBA on it. It's something, and people say, oh, Bill, you're a high school you're a high school graduate. I wanted to go to college. I want to be a gym teacher. God knows I was a champion on the high bar barrel. The only problem is we had no money. So I want to go to Springfield College. I had to work. Otherwise, I, I had no money. I was 17 when I graduated. I didn't want to be a cop. I took the test as a goof when I was 16 years old, and it all came about. But all I wanted to do was be a gym teacher. I couldn't do it. And I wanted to be more educated than I was. But I tell people, I do have a doctorate. I have a doctorate of the streets. So that's it. That is more important than, it's. that's that's a sixth sense, yeah. right? I mean, that to me is more important than all the rest of it. Anything else you want to cover? I mean, thank you. You know, I would just like you to know, I don't know if you know this, but on your Wikipedia page, it now says in 2000, let, let me read you exactly yeah, what it says. I mean, it says a lot of things on uh, your Wikipedia. First of all, I don't know how Wikipedia <laughs> catches up, but on yeah. your Wikipedia page, in addition to everything you just mentioned, it yeah. says now in 2003, Deedle became known for his alleged arsenal of information on the cast of the Real Housewives of 2003? New Jersey. 2003? 2023, sorry. It says it on my Wikipedia? It says. Oh, no. So what does it say? I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. It says in 2023, Deedle became known for his alleged arsenal of information on the cast of The Real Housewives of New Jersey, rivaling only that of cast member Margaret Josephs. (laughs) So. Alleged, but you had the alleged. Alleged. I don't mind that. I don't mind that alleged because we know I didn't do it. But the point is that that's how popular this this whole thing has become. So I was kind of upset. Then I'm saying to myself, you know, people and and you said it, and that's what made me do the show. You forgot what you said to me when you spoke to me. You said Bo, and I have a story about when I spoke it, to you. Bo. If I was to hire anybody, I'd hire you. That's what made me come here today. When you said that, really, and that wasn't just bullshit. That was a hundred percent like. I will be hiring you for something if I ever. Well, need. if so I got I, hired, just, if I got hired by this. Andy Cohen to do backgrounds on all these kids, but which is not unusual. If you're no, running, a, you're running a major, multi-million dollar show. Maybe you want to know if the people in your show uh, are, uh, you know, credible. I mean, we could get hired if Andy wants us to hire us to do backgrounds on all the cast members. Andy, hire us. I'll give you a contract. Your 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 your, your contract. But it will be confidential. But then again, if we find something bad, then it will be your right to utilize it the way you do it. And here's the most important thing I think you got to take away. People that are investing, people in the real estate business, people in other business, buying businesses, spend the money to do your due diligence on the principals and on the corporations. This is so important. It will save you so much money in the long run. One of the things that come to mind was there was a, uh, a, a hedge fund out of Chicago, very close with President Obama, and they hired us to do a background on a guy that was working in a big fast food conglomerate, and they were going to invest money into the fast food conglomerate. So we did a due diligence on We found out uh, he had some problems with a 12 year old boy in California years ago. We pulled the court rockman and we told him this could pop up. This is a bad thing. They didn't do it. Then all of a sudden somebody else who had a uh, very famous guy hires him for his CEO. He lasted for about three months and then he had a golden parachute for 40. And then I run into him at one of Scaramucci's hedge fund conferences. And I used to do the speeches there for uh, AML, know your customer and all that stuff. And I would do speeches every year with the Soul conference. And I grabbed the guy Multi, multi billion. I says, who does your investigations? Stevie Wonder. I said, this, this guy you hired is your CEO. I said, we, we found him out one for one quick boom. And that's one of the things that we can leave with today. Spend some money if you're investing or if you're looking to buy a company or if you're looking to invest into a company, know who you're dealing with. And that's so, so, so important. And even with the the last thing that Lachlan put out there about a Chinese company, it was never a Chinese company. It was an American company. They have so many lies and misquotes in this article. And then all of a sudden, I said to myself, I don't have to defend myself. He said nothing. And he said nothing. And it's just another hit job, which gives me ammunition. Because Lachlan, 
I am not finished with you yet. Now people say, Bo, you're taking on a guy who runs one of the biggest news conglomerates. I really couldn't give a flying crap. And if he has the balls, Lachlan, meet with me. Talk to me. Have your lawyers there. Have 10 security guards there. Come on, Lachlan. Let me tell you the truth. Maybe you don't want the truth. And on that one, I want to just say to you, Lachlan, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, leave it there. Two quick things. No, I, I was that's when you were saying that about Andy. First of all, a lot of companies do that. I mean, a lot of huge yeah. networks do yeah. that. But I always said this. I mean, we could leave it on this if you want. You can bring something else up. But I swear to God, I've always said this. If I were chosen to be on reality TV, I know I don't have any secrets in my past, but like you said, now they bring out things from 10 years ago, 20 yeah. years ago, whatever you said, right? It was a different yeah. time in the world for different yeah. people. I would hire you, and I've said this before, if I was given a contract to be yeah. on The Real Housewives, 10 years from now, you're, someone's going to say, he said this in 1981. Yeah. I would hire you, and I would say, I'd like you to investigate yeah, but me. The, the, the point is, does that, if someone said something 30, no, 35 years ago, does that really, no, it's not fine. It's not fine. I mean, it's even in the entertainment be, business, people are being banned. And now, when, when I've, last thing I heard, and I love the entertainment business, I love the entertainment business. When they come out with this nonsense about, in order for you to uh, to be uh, nominated for an Academy Award now, you must have a black star and have at least three co-stars that are black. That is horrible. Horrible. Why? What what reason? How about the best actors? How about the best directors? How about that? Is is that completely off the board that we have to do certain things for certain reasons? No. Why don't we just have the best? I recently sat down with Jacqueline Bissett, you know, the legendary oh, I think she's actress. She's so beautiful. She's How about so the other pretty. English one? You know that other English one? Who? Oh, that she's so pretty. She was married to that uh, weirdo there, the one that uh, the English guy. What's the name? English and English. Really pretty. She's about, really? About 60. What's her name? Uh, she was married to that guy, uh, and, and, and he was caught in the backseat with some uh, guy in California. What was his name? Hugh Grant. Oh, Who Hugh Grant's yes. wife? What's his wife? Yes. Oh, wife. Elizabeth Hurley? Oh, my God. You know her? She's so pretty. You know what's really funny? She's in a new movie, and she has, oh. like, sex scenes, and it's directed by her son. You know what I love? This is the pop so culture come knowledge up, that I just know they, in my head. They come up to Rayo's. She he gets there first. He walks. Yeah, he walks in, and I was at the bar there. Where I was having going to have dinner, and I grab on the side. I says, "Listen to me, you are you kidding me? That thing that you had in the back seat, that the he she whatever the hell it was, you got to be kidding me. You have the most beautiful wife in the world. You got to see his face. Well, like this, and I'm saying to him, you got Elizabeth Hurley, and you're jumping in the back seat with this thing, whatever it was. I don't even know if it was a man or a woman or one of those he she's. I don't know. I don't did know. He, did he appreciate that? No. 